Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, this video has been a year in the making, if not a little bit longer. I've had these markers since last year around, I don't, I don't know, around like the beginning of December. And by the time this video is uploaded, it will be a week before Christmas. So, <laughs> I've had these for a little over a year <laughs> yeah um it's just been a hectic year with not consistently uploading and I know I've said before that I'm trying but it's extremely hard to consistently upload when I'm working full almost full time and I'm also like going to school so <laughs> yeah a lot of things going on right now but that's okay I I'm trying my best here and I'm sorry so the seller actually uh, included these like smudge proof gloves mostly used by graphic artists for their like graphic tablets and stuff uh, so and I've been looking into getting something like that and trying out in the future uh, but not quite there yet oh well <laughs> anyways I'm hopeful I am opening up this package and when I opened up that first part of it I freaked out I was like oh my gosh all the colors and I don't know they're there's just so many of them and it's a good thing I got the bigger set because they don't have a brush tip it's harder to get a blend with them so I just felt like they weren't good enough so that's why I upgraded I got a couple of new markers and you'll see those in upcoming videos anyways the coat the not Copic, sorry. The marker chart that I'm using is actually from the Shanahan Touch Twin markers. Um, I just looked and researched and these markers, these Touch 5 markers, are almost exact dupes of the Shanahan Touch Twin markers. They, the barrels, like the markers themselves look almost exactly the same. The Touch Twin markers, the actual brand name, are actually slightly bigger than the Touch 5 markers. But other than that, the color names, the numbers are exactly the same. So that's why I could use the Touch Twin marker chart for the touch five markers just to find out what their true color is the only issue is that the colors do not match the caps at all with these touch five markers and with the few touch twin markers that I do have they actually matched pretty well to the caps so that's also a difference between high-end and low-end markers also the high the touch twin markers actually have a brush nib which is why they're so expensive and of course I will be talking more in depth about this it, during this video so I'm gonna shut up
So, sorry, these are taped together. Let me. So these ones are the Shunhan Touch Twin Marker. Okay, so these ones have a fine or a bullet nib on one side and on the other a chisel tip unlike these ones. These ones have a brush tip and these are pre-owned by the way, obviously. I don't have enough money to actually buy new ones, so, but these ones are refillable, and I just wanted to compare how the ink is tested with, like, their corresponding ink. So, as you can see, there's still a little bit of tape of, the, of this. These are supposedly the same color, so they have, like, R136. This one only has the number and then the name, and I actually have the color chart um, that I colored these ones in um, with, but they're for technically the Shinhan Touch Twin Markers. Uh, I'll show you that in a little bit. But I just thought it was um, pretty cool that almost all of the colors corresponded with each other. A couple of the names were off, um, which is fine. I knew that these were supposedly dupes of these, but these are actually like almost the exact like. Sorry, these ones are black instead of white, so it looks... But these are smaller than these ones. The dupes are smaller. Um, so anyways, on one side they have a brush marker. Um, this is pre-owned. Um, there's like a little black speck, but I'm not too worried about that. Um, the owner said that these were used a couple times, but oh, I'm also not worried about that. As long as they're like, have enough ink to do this video, I can just get refills um, and use them from there brush up close and then chisel and they have the colors printed on both sides of the caps just like these dupes do let me find the corresponding colors to these I'm gonna move all this stuff out of the way and this box has something special in it uh, but I'm opening that for another video so all right this is the colorful stuff i kind of separated anything everything into like colors and like my neutrals and other stuff in that one all right so this is grass green grass green grass green here it is yep this is gy or green yellow 47 and this one doesn't have the gy but it does have 47 and grass green so and the colors, of course, aren't exactly the same. Uh, these I mean, look, these, the dupes are definitely smaller through the top. You can kind of see and compare. Uh, definitely smaller. Let me, I kind of want to see how the chisel tips compare too. And of course the dupes don't look as nice as these ones do. This one looks like streaky, almost. I don't know if you guys can see that. But, um, the dupes over here, they look a lot streakier, streakier than these ones. These look like they have a smoother um, application to them. Sorry, there's like fuzzies on this. Again, I'm not really worried about that. I got all three of these cheap markers. Um, the Shein Hand Touch Twin markers, if they're open stock, they're about three to four dollars uh, for the Touch Twin with the brush end. But I got these three for about like ten dollars and then like another three for shipping. Um, so that's not bad at all. I got like pretty much one of these almost like for free um, which is fine and I can of course I can get refills and refills are around the same amount as one of these markers but they fill up multiple times a marker all right this last one is old red two 
and it seems like the dupes for the caps all of these caps they look lighter the dupes of these look lighter and a little bit like just paler in general see if you can sorry keep on trying to which I think is pretty odd. Um, anyways. So, let me just set these aside. I said I'll bleed through too. Maybe not the smartest decision, but you know. Fine. I'm just using Sharpie. All my fine layers are in my art bag. So this is. I'm just gonna do like the number five, and I was like, ah. So all three of the names matched up. These seem to work pretty well. Let me see if this bled through. And it did not. That's a good sign. I've been looking for a paper that would actually like stay. To a brush marker this is actually like my first time using um an alcohol marker with a brush um, Ooh, that shows on it's really nice too to fill in and it looks like you can get an even coat with these if you just go over it a couple times oh that's nice all right sorry <laughs> i mean weird so here's the Oh wow, these colors are actually fairly similar. Oh wow, I was not expecting that. Okay, this. There. Um, but those are actually extremely similar. I'm so surprised. Uh, this chisel nib. Not as nice as the um, regular ones, but the bullet nib isn't bad if you're gonna like just kind of lay down some sharper edges. You can get a blend with these markers, the dupes, but it's actually a lot harder than you would think. Um, let me see if they'll do like an even. That's not what I wanted. I wanted a bigger one. What am I doing? I'm sorry, guys. bit of like streaky here and I was going pretty fast I feel like of course there is a little bit of streak here uh, for the most part these dupes aren't bad compared to the original ones I am so surprised I don't think you guys understand oh that was that black speck when I got out all right this one's a little bit dry, I'm um, not gonna lie. But I really like this color, so I might just go ahead and get like a refill for it, honestly. Um, it's a little streaky, this one, but I think that's just because it's dry. But, um, which is fine, I'm not too worried about it. Ooh, this one is not that nice of a color that... Ooh, yeah, this marker... It's not good. I think this one's dried up, and I, I don't even remember using it, honestly. But again, it has been like a month since I've used these, and I've had these markers for almost a year, honestly. So they've been sitting for like about a month, and I haven't used them in a while. So you kind of have to keep that in mind. Um, 
So this one, the chisel tip, ended up in the smooth. Even though it was going on kind of streaky, it dried. So it, in like real life, it looks fairly smooth, except for that black part. And I wasn't even trying to, because it was dry. But as you can see, these colors do not match whatsoever. These are, sorry, I keep on drying over here to get a closer look. But yeah, these ones, the pink, no. This old red, oh my gosh these look so similar uh these ones look a little kind of a little bit more darker slightly um here they look a little bit more purpley is what i'm trying to like more whiny like red wine not like whiny like right, let's try the green ones out This one goes on smoothly and it's very juicy, honestly. That's such a weird word when people use that, juicy. But yeah, it goes on. Brush nib works. Oh, that's so nice. I think I'm in love with these <laughs> brush nibs. And chisel nib, also extremely nice. And as you can tell, you can get an even coat which is nice sometimes people like the sketchy oh. so these dupes as I'm noticing even though the caps on the touch twin markers the originals are darker and they like actually kind of match their color too um, it looks like the caps are lighter on this side, but the colors are a little bit darker than these ones, like, but they're pretty close, except for these pink ones. You can't really tell. This one, if you looked very closely, um, let me, oh yeah, that is the god awful noise. Yeah, this one's a lot darker too, if you look at it like that, but if you just kind of go smoothly and you don't really... These two are quite a bit darker than these ones, but these two are extremely similar. Like, this old red color, these look very similar. Like, you have to look kind of close up to... Like, I can barely tell in person, so I doubt you guys can tell, but those look extremely similar. At first, I thought you could maybe put a brush nib into one of these. Um, but if you can see, I don't think that's how it works, uh, per se. Maybe if I try to put it in with this one and put like a brush nib in here, I'm not going to try and take this one out because I don't want to damage the marker that I just got. brush marker I can see how you can like get a blend because that's what I'm kind of getting right now is a little bit of blend but because they're so like such a different color it's not really working out the way I would like it to but it did kind of blend if you can see but the thing with like um, a lighter color is it kind of pushes and picks up like the red ink a little bit So you would have to really work to get, I'll try if I use this. Do I still have any bleed? Oh, barely right here. It, it bled through a little bit. So I did put the red down first. I doubt that's gonna make a difference. And when I was using these markers, it, 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 it's doing the same thing. It's picking up the turkey. Anyways, um, as I was saying, I did have to go back and forth quite a bit to kind of get the blend. And obviously, I'm not doing it very well. But 
yeah, I had to use a whole bunch of like other colors, like two or three, like four of these, like in between like blush or red. Let me see. Like I would have to use like a couple of like in between colors for this to get like an actually like nice blend. But as you can see here, I'm actually getting sort of a blend. Uh, I believe you would still need to get more colors to kind of go on and like fill in but other than that um, if you're looking to save some money you don't and you just want it like a smaller set I did get the 168 set and I would recommend getting these ones and starting off with like less colors but more of because the ink is going on so smoothly and it has a brush nib and if you can go online like ebay or anywhere try and find these markers and then you could get refills as they die or whatever or you know if you know that you're going to use them a lot i would recommend getting these but if you're just looking for something like cheap to start out with i would definitely get a smaller um, group of these although when you order these you don't know exactly what colors you're getting, but if you're looking for something cheap and easy to use, I would recommend getting these because they're cheap. They, these are cheap. I got the 168 for a little less than $80, uh, and that was a, a, like a year ago, so I'm sure prices have dropped. But the Touch 5 Twin Markers are really close in for some colors it looks like and for others they're only slightly off with like this is more of a blue green than grass green like this looks more like a grass green to me personally than this this looks a little bit more blue um, like more of a blue green and this one's a little bit more pink and vibrant and like pops but this one's like more of your uh, state of the art pink like a normal pink wood though there are like several of these in here that say pink and whatnot like this is pale pink um, and it's still darker than both of these uh, let me see there's one in here there's one in here that I think is close to this color like this one is vibrant too kind of like this one but it's more of a peach which is the name peach but it's all down to what you can afford. If you can't afford to get hand, to get used markers, I would recommend doing that. Obviously, these are a little bit dirty, which is fine. A couple of these were actually a little bit dirty, um, but not by much. Um, so I think it's all up to you on what you want to do. Um, I'm probably gonna do further testing, like further you know for their updates on how these are going and my comparisons between the two but um, because these have a brush nib and it's a lot easier to get even skin tones with brush nibs I would recommend getting the Gina Touch Twin Markers if you can't afford Copics. Now I am going to do um, a review and a kind of like a comparison between the two but that's for the future and right now there is this youtuber out there Bailey J she has done marker like a marker comparison between tons of brands of markers all in one video so you can decide which ones you want and her ratings of that and she uses Copics mainly but she tried these and said that these were pretty close which I've never tried Copics so I can't say that for sure so far these are the only two markers that I've ever tried but for me testing these in like five minutes I like these a lot more than these and I've been using these ones for close to a year um so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys again in the next video